What's going on, Novi? Welcome back to Cultureverse. We finally have our permanent co-host for the rest of the semester. I'm very excited because we can do more episodes consistently. We have Mr. Caleb White here. Caleb, say what's going on. Hello. So there's a lot we're going to be talking about today. Um, we're not going to be doing any like fun games at the start. We just want to keep it, keep something smooth and rolling. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the Suicide Squad game, Kill the Justice League. Uh, as I'm sure some people may know that the game has been overly hated from people who really, mainly people who haven't really played the game. I've played the game. I have a fair amount of hours into it. I'm, ha I'm enjoying the content. And I really did enjoy the story. Uh, Caleb, what, what do you think about the game? Honest opinion. I I think it's not that bad. Um, it's definitely overhated, <coughs> but I definitely see how people could not like it, mm -hmm. like the people who have played it. Like, the gameplay gets a bit stale at times, and the story, it picks up kind of slow. Yeah. And then it kind of speeds up, but... I think it's I think it's okay. I see the the Avengers game comparisons. Yeah, same. I played that game way longer than I should have, so I kind of see it. But I I think it's better. Yeah, that's that's what I said. I, I think it's like it's comparable to Avengers in the terms of mechanics and gameplay. But I think it's just a better just execution in that yeah. terms of mechanic and gameplay. The have you finished the story? No. Where are you at right now? Kind of like with no spoilers. About, I, I don't know how to do it without spoilers. Like the whole game is like spoilers, basically. Who are you at? Flash. Okay. Okay. So you're still like, yeah, you're still at the start. After that, it kind of just goes on and like ramps up pretty, uh, pretty fast. And everything kind of just like happens in like rapid succession after that. So, you know, it, it picks up. The end game content, and since you're in the story, you haven't gotten there yet, but the end game content is really the appeal factor that will keep the game going because there's so much content and there's weapons that you can get even past the story because there are bane weapons um so you can grind for that and there's like some cool things and then you can fight brainiac many times and do these do these things and add and you unlock something called invasion difficulty when you finish the story and the invasion difficulty you just it goes from like one to six, I think. And it just, the difficulty gets higher and higher. And then the missions that you do, there is mastery that you can unlock and it goes up to 30, I think. And it gets pretty hard. It like, it gets pretty hard to do. And I, I like that challenge because comparing when you're on the hardest difficulty that you're playing through the story compared to like the mastery, it's significantly different. And it's much more fun to play on mastery because of that challenge. What do you think about the movement? I think it's the best part of the game. I think it really carries the game because without it, it's like the just like plain kind of shooting is it would get really boring without the movement. But them together, the shooting and the movement, it uh, makes the game. Yeah, no, I agree. The Those two together, how they have it set up in the game works. Like yeah. it works very well. Like uh, who, do you, who do you play as? Uh, Deadshot, dead shot. right? Yeah. Like Deadshot, he hovers when you're aiming in, um, yeah. his dodging, all these things. Boomerang, I play Boomerang, the using like the Speed Force uh, gauntlet to like just kind of zoom around, get pat, like get around these enemies and then, you know, hit a quick shot, get out the way. It's it's very smooth. I, I, some of my friends play Harley. I know some people like that play King Shark and they, as I'm seeing them play, it just works. Like yeah. it just works. And that's one of the best parts of the game is the movement and like there's just that kind of gunplay and i can see how you say like it kind of gets repetitive and to and it like stale in some parts because it's it's a looter it's a looter shooter yeah. you know um that's kind of to be expected you know you're doing certain missions to grind for specific things but as the as things go on it's just things are looking pretty good so far i would say yeah. the and I know people aren't very happy with how Kevin Conroy's Batman went out. But, yeah, I mean, the thing is, in my opinion, I just feel like it just proves he's not human or he is human. That's the yeah. whole thing. Batman's seen as invincible. Uh, like he can get past anything. But at the end of the day, he's 
just the same as as Harley Quinn, Boomerang, Deadshot, not King Shark, obviously, but they're they're all human. He, he's he's very smart and capable of doing so many things, but he's still a human. Yeah, that's why I, I don't really know what people expected. Right, like it's Suicide Squad killed the Justice killed the Justice League. Yeah. You're killing the so Justice League. They 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 killed the Justice League. Right, and that's <laughs> that's a lot of people's problem. Yeah, people are like in the comments. I didn't actually think you would kill the Justice League, but I'm sitting here like, bro, what? And what would the whole game be about? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's it's really weird. It's it's just overhated. It's nitpicking. It's it's not what people expected the game to be. Yeah, but I I think it's cool. Yeah, I think it's a very cool concept. At first, I thought it was kind of weird, like seeing the trailer when uh, when the game awards were going on, seeing the like. Reveal trailer and was like, oh man, Superman's bad. Like I was like, do we had to like kill these guys? Like that still kind of feels weird thinking about it. That like yeah. you know, but it's a very interesting spin that is unique upon itself in the sense of we are used to being the superheroes, not the villains. We are used to beating Harley Quinn in the Batman in the Batman games. You know, yeah. it's like things like that. But now we're we're playing as Harley Quinn, whoever beating Batman it's it's weird to think about and it feels weird but it's, yeah. it's very nice and they want to I, I'm sure you've heard of Destiny 2 yeah they want to keep their game going like that which means they want live service which whatever um and what they're gonna do is seasons so I know we mm -hmm. have explained that we know what's going on with that the seasons are going to be what keeps the game going because we're going to be unlocking new de uh, destinations. We're going to be getting new weapons, new bosses, um, new Brainiac fights. It's going to be it's going to be pretty cool. And we have seen the silhouettes of characters. I'm pretty peop what people are speculating is uh, Mrs. Freeze uh, uh, for the for, for the second season, for the third season, Lawton's daughter, uh, Deadshot's daughter, right? Something like that. I Maybe I don't know. I think that pretty sure that's what people are saying. And then third season, uh, you're going back to Gotham and the character. So obviously Slade Wilson. Yeah, that's, that's, that's gonna all be I so know for cool, sure. But yeah. That's going to be really cool. I'm excited for that. I mean, how I'm curious to see how they're going to do the characters because the movement is what really makes them like mm -hmm. special. I agree. So every character that they put in the game has to have a special kind of movement or else they're all going to be the same character. So I'm just curious to see how they do that. Yeah, I, I agree. I 100% agree. That that makes the character like unique upon themselves. And I actually think they can do pretty good with it. Um, as Just seeing the Joker gameplay trailer, him coming in March, he it looks the movement looks good. I, I don't mind the way Joker looks because it's an Elseworld version. He's younger. He's just as crazy, but he's younger, and he hasn't necessarily gotten that super villain status yet. I don't. I don't like it at all. Like his design, or like gameplay, or like movement, and anything. Like the movement is like cool. Why does he have an umbrella? Whatever. That's more of like a penguin thing, but that's besides yeah. the point. Yeah. His design is just not good at all to me. Really? Yeah. I think it's very fitting to the vibe of who we have as the characters in our cast of playable characters. Because if if it was, obviously it wouldn't happen because he died in the Arkham games, but if it was Arkham Joker, it's just, it just seems so out of place. Yeah. Given how like he looks compared to just, they look, I don't really know how to explain it, but they don't look like they would be how they would in the Arkham games. They look like how they would be in the Suicide Squad game. You yeah. know what I mean? They just didn't need to add Joker at all, I think. I think it's a fun twist. I wasn't expecting it, but the, well, it's a fun twist. It's like, just why, though? Because... He was part of Suicide Squad at one point. Yeah, but when you think of Suicide Squad, there's so many other people mm -hmm. that you can draw in besides the Joker. 100%. And then the voice is like, <laughs> I like the voice actually. I don't like it at all. <laughs> in in the trailer, he sounded horrible. I just you think so? Yeah. Oh man, I think you're just hating, bro. I think it's just it's nice. Maybe I am, but <laughs> it's. I feel like it's so easy to do the Joker wrong. Yeah, 100%. and I, it's done wrong like all the time. 
I guess. I, I don't mind. I don't mind this one. But like, I mean, like I said, like I mean, unique by itself. The movements, I, I, yeah, he has an umbrella. That is more of a penguin thing. I agree. But nobody's gonna be wanting to play as the penguin. I can assure you as that. I don't want to play as the penguin. You want to play as penguin? Penguin doesn't like do anything. That's what so I'm saying. No one like, wants to play penguin. It'd be like fun to see him like do something. No, I don't want to see that. So like you know, like the umbrella is an interesting twist, but it, like the move, like the, it's more so about how smooth it looks, and I think it looks pretty smooth. It's yeah. I don't know, but I would say I hope what they do with some of these characters. I hope it's just not always guns, 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 because we're having Slade, right? Slade does not use like he typically will use. Like his his sword, right? Well, that's how it's it's probably gonna be guns, but then his like melee and stuff is swords. Yeah, and then I'm sure they're gonna add some more weapons uh, as the game goes on. That's kind of the hope because that makes things better and more more diverse. I doubt it because I think they got through kind of all the classes of guns. Yeah, so it's nothing really more you can add as far as guns. Yeah, I guess so. No, you're right. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe somebody, maybe those think of something. Maybe, maybe, probably not. It'd probably just be a reskin of a gun mm -hmm. that's probably already in the game. Yeah, because there, um, I don't know if at this point they like show that, but there are weapon types and like mod types of like different characters. Like the black, like if you get the digital, uh, digital deluxe, you get the black mask weapons. You know, it's like to black mask character. You get Hugo Strange stuff, Jinx. Um, I already have a black mask sniper. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't buy anything. Oh, okay. well, they give that? it to you. No, they give uh, it to you. Okay. Uh, so it's kind of just a waste getting the deluxe. I realize, but it's whatever. And it's there. The new in the season coming in March. The new uh, is going to be Scarecrow weapons, and I want to say Two Face or something, because what they're in the in the. Uh, in the end game, you're, there's something called like a chapter or something, which is like mm -hmm. the Bane chapter. So like that's why we're getting Bane weapons. And then next month will be a Scarecrow chapter, and I think someone else. I'm not sure if it was Two Face or not, but they have different designs and they'll have different traits. It'll be cool. They might do um, different afflictions. Like I'm sure you have you gotten to. Oh no, you haven't. Anyway, afflictions are like status effects like yeah, fire yeah i got to it okay yeah and i'm hoping they kind of do like a fear thing that would be kind of cool yeah so you know they there there's a lot they can do with this there's a lot they can do with this and i think that the future for this game is if people stop hating on it and give it a chance i think the future is very bright for content and just how things will go see i don't i don't think that'll happen though no. i think people are like solidified in the way they feel about the game Mm. And because of that, I'm not sure if the game would last that long. That is a fair point, but I also feel like the same thing could have been said for No Man's Sky. I don't know if you know what that is, but that game had a really. horrible launch. Horrible launch. Like, very bad. Tons of bugs. Not content. But they kept going, and that game is very, very popular now. Very popular. And I, I play every update that comes out. And it's just such a significant difference, and it's so good. People thought the game was going nowhere, but it actually, they kept going, and the game got farther than people would expect. But do you have any, like, kind of final thoughts about the game? No. I mean, people should play it before they say anything. Yeah, I agree. Actually have, a like, an opinion on it mm -hmm. or just, like, hating from the outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's kind of just our thoughts on Suicide Squad and what's going to be happening with that. The We're going to be going into our second topic, which will be Megamind 2, which I'm not excited for in the slightest because it looks horrible. What do you think? Megamind 2? Yep. Wasn't there already Megamind 2? No, are you talking about that red button one? I think so, yeah. No, I was like a sub one. You didn't see the trailer? For the, the show? No. Oh, no. That's not a show. That's a movie. It's a movie? Yeah. You talking about, did you see it recently? Yeah. That's a movie. That's a movie. That's a movie. Megamind 2. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that just puts this in a whole different thing. Okay. For a lot of these things, right, they're making a whole lot of um, remakes mm -hmm. for pretty much everything. Yeah. And Or continuations. Every time I see it, I just ask, why? Right. Why? Right. It's like, 
who is it? Will Ferrell that voiced Megamind? Voiced him. He's yeah. not his voice anymore. He's not his voice and anymore. He sounds and this guy sounds terrible. Why are you? Why? Why it's are you so making? Pointless. Why are you making it? And the animation. I was just about to say just it got worse. Looks. It looks weird. That is it Netflix looks, show animation. That's what I'm saying. That's why I thought it was a show. That's yeah. I thought it was a show too, and I was like, wait, I thought this was supposed to be a movie, and then I'm realizing this is a movie. They're just they're they're dragging. They should have left Mega Mine, just left it and let it be. It's right. A, it's a great movie. Great standalone. Just let it be. But I mean, they brought it back for whatever reason, and the concept seems like they're just trying to add on more just to make another Mega Mine. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure the plot's like this little girl wants to be like him or whatever, and she's getting in danger, and he has to save her. Like, oh my god. It, the have you ever seen Boss Baby? Yeah. Have you seen the show? Boss, ba the Boss Baby show? No, I have not. That is literally, I'm fairly certain, that is just about the exact same animation. It's it's just worse quality. This is Netflix show quality. This is not movie quality. And yeah. there, and we who have seen Megamind when we were younger, this was our childhood movie. Yeah, that was that was that was my movie. I'm seeing this. I'm seeing like this announcement. Trailer. I'm like, oh, Megamind two. We about to get a second one. I'm hyped. I watch it. And I sit there, I'm just thinking to myself, I say, what is this? But, and yeah, like, why? But the thing is, like, Kung Fu Panda 4, I'm watching it. Yeah. That's good. That looks pretty good. Kung, yeah, but at least Jack Black is returning, though. Yeah, he's returning and, and animation is like good. the animation's like good. Right. Oh, my God. It's, it's, it's so, it's so annoying. And we we can't act like they haven't done, like, like remakes and stuff before with, like, different actors. And it's like the Kung Fu Panda show. Mm -hmm. Like that was like a big part of my childhood. That that was so good. Here in the lesson of the Kung Fu Panda, bro. It's oh like, my God, bro. He, bro. That was my show. That was my show. And Despicable like, Me four too. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, it's four, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, even that, it just seems like they're just they're dragging that one. Yeah. But it doesn't look that bad in comparison yeah, that's i, I just saying. think they're dragging it the animation's still fine i'm pretty i'm pretty sure if i remember correctly the animation is yeah. fine um steve carell came back to play Gru. It, it, you know the plot it, it kind of seems all over the place seeing the trailer but i'm yeah. you know it, it's okay I, I think it won't be that bad it definitely won't be the same but it won't be as bad as as mega mind too and I just, I just, it's, it's so weird to me that they went down in quality when that movie came out. I don't even remember when it came out, but it was so long ago, and that that yeah. was such good quality. I don't. I think as soon as they they tried to get Will Ferrell and he wouldn't return, I think that's when they just yeah, should have scrapped, scrapped it. it. Yeah, it should have been scrapped because first of all, you're going to face backlash for that. Yeah, and they already are facing backlash. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna promote backlash, but it it makes sense. A little a little bit of backlash can can push people in the right direction. <laughs> so yes, it it's just I don't know I don't know, but kind of just like this is not what we want as 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 fans. I don't think anyone wants this. Even the people who aren't like real big fans of it, they just they just don't want it. Mm -mm. It's, I don't know who the demographic is for this. Yeah, it's like, it's definitely just people that are not our generation. But it's like the kids would like, would they even still want to see that? Oh, I'm sure they would. If they don't know about Mega Mind One, I'm sure they would. I mean, that's the appeal factor now. Like that animation, like Netflix thing, that's just kitty. That's that's what it is. Like Boss Baby, yeah. that was kitty animation, and. That is what brings them in and brings families in. And they're like, oh, we should watch this. Because they want to have a more welcoming feel to younger the younger audience. And that brighter, more, like, jumpy animation, yeah. it, it appeals to them more. And it's just, I get it, but you would get a lot more people if you were to do that same animation. And, and like you said, you came and get Will Ferrell for this, so you should have scrapped it. It's, it's kind of yeah. just as simple as that. And that's the only thing they did that for like mm -hmm. despicable me stayed the same yeah and kung fu panda stayed the same like it still appeals to kids but right you know people who grew up watching it can still watch it that's what i'm saying like it it, it appeals to both parties and that's 
the best part of that type of thing. But they're they're kind of ruining their chances. I, that's kind of just like my thoughts on that a little bit. What do you what yeah. do you, you you got nothing else? Wasn't needed. Wasn't needed. They still have a chance to scrap it now. Yeah. They While do. their fans are still there. Hundred percent. Uh, we could do a little subtopic. Uh, we could talk about Deadpool three. They wrapped up filming last mo- last month. You excited? Yeah, I'm very excited. Yeah, so am I. It's Wolverine. Gonna be, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're getting some other people. I'm fairly certain. Um, Probably, yeah. I think it's mm-hmm. like a like a multiverse or like Deadpool kills like Fox Universe. Yeah, or something. something like that. It, that and that's cool. And it's cool seeing. Uh, you, there are some screenshots of. Deadpool in his in his suit in his new yeah. uh, MCU suit, and then there's Wolverine in his MCU suit, which his MCU suit very good. Yeah. I like I like this suit a lot. The, they didn't the, make it too techy. The sleeves the sleeves bother me a little bit. It looks mm-hmm. it looks a little weird. Yeah, because I'm I'm not really used to it, but I mean it's fine. Mm-hmm. I'm just like there's there's no way they can ma- mess up this movie. Yeah, my pro okay, so like they didn't do this thankfully, but my thing with the MCU is if you notice about the suits, they always look uh, in the most part, they always look so advanced. I don't you have a I problem mean? with that. It's I don't okay, I wouldn't necessarily say I have a problem with it, but it's just something I notice and it's nice that this isn't one of those things. It's very cut and dry, very simple. It looks very classic, especially Deadpool yeah. suit. It looks very classic to the comics, very it's the nice red. There's nothing crazy to it. It's just Bam, bam, I bam. think Deadpool is a little tactical already, though. Like, not in the sense of his suit, though. Like his suit has a lot of like, like different c- kind of patches and yeah. straps and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. it's it, it was really nothing they could do that bad for that. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of people in the comics with very simplistic suits mm-hmm. that would look a bit cheesy. Yeah. So I never really have a problem with the. You know designs and lines and stuff i know a lot yeah, of people do fair. though yeah no that's 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 very fair this will be his both of their debuts into the mcu i'm hoping i'm i'm pretty sure hugh jackman's staying after this as well really i i think so i would assume so because he's making a debut in the mcu as wolverine i'm hoping that kind of just means he'll stay as that because he's wolverine you know what i mean yeah. he, he is our wolverine and it'll be, be surprised really cool to see that. Though. I would be too. He's because been doing that for a long time. He's he's pretty old. And he is getting old. It it'd be weird to see a whole X Men cast mm-hmm. with Hugh Jackman still being Wolverine. But yeah. I mean, I wouldn't really have that big of a problem with it. It's just. No, I get know. what you're saying. I wouldn't have a problem with it either. You know who uh, Daniel Radcliffe is? Yeah. yeah, yeah. People want him to play Wolverine, which at first I was like, that's kind of stupid. But but. As I'm looking through, I, I'm like, that's not bad. I see it, right? But could we really see past like Harry Potter? To be honest, maybe. And there's a reason I say that. It's because of Robert Pattinson. When he got announced as Batman, he was Twilight Boy. He was the dude from Twilight, and now he's yeah. he's Batman. You know what I mean? So but maybe it, it's the same kind of like edgy, like dark kind of. Thing, but. In a sense, but it's more so he had that character like him playing Batman has changed what we think when we when we first think Robert Pattinson. We don't think Twilight. We think Batman. I, n- I never like watched Twilight, so I never thought of I've that. only seen the first one and I it was unbearable. Actually, I think I have seen the second one. But regardless, I think that they obviously, you know, we know this is Harry Potter, but it, it'd be cool seeing him as Wolverine if he does good, then, you know. I yeah. doubt they would change. That would change how they see him. But this is also Wolverine. You know, this is Harry Potter and Wolverine. So you know, that, that, I think that I think that's pretty cool. I was just thinking, like, yeah, I, I have seen some scenes from him that are not. Uh, let's just say they're not very little wizard boy kind of <laughs> scenes. Yeah. 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 So I mean, he could play angry, aggressive. I'm sure. Yeah, he's a good actor. He's, yeah. I, I think he's a very good actor. I haven't seen him in many other stuff other than Harry Potter, but the things that I have seen him in, I, I, I've enjoyed his performance. The, this kind of, I think they said they're kind of setting up something for the MCU after Deadpool. I'm not sure what it was, but they're setting something up for the future. Um, and I honestly, 
think they can change because of this they might be able to change kang like his casting because like multiverse stuff i mean it's yeah. a cop out but what, what what can you do at this point he's he's done he's done yeah you know <clears throat> so it's just know. like i don't know i just i just want to see deadpool for deadpool i don't really care what they're setting up or anything i just want to see the movie yeah same um, it's gonna be so it's gonna be funny it's gonna be rated it, r it will Ooh. it will be good yeah there, it literally will be there is no possible way that they could make this movie bad yeah for real and it, it has to be funny it has yeah. to be like this is deadpool yeah you know, i better be some better see some fourth wall breaks you know i just need this yeah did you know that deadpool wasn't the first wasn't the first person in the comics to break the fourth wall it was she hulk it was she hulk I know more than you. You don't know more. Than I know more than you. I know more than you. Okay. Anywho. <laughs> so, basically, I think that it's it's going to be funny. It's going to be good. I Is it the same director? Do you know? I'm not sure, but I mean, if Ryan Reynolds has his hand on it at all, it'll it'll be It'll insane. be funny. Yeah, I agree. It's going to be really cool, and I I'm excited. You know, the MCU hasn't been too hasn't been the greatest lately well lately actually it hasn't okay, been too you're, bad you're you're being a little generous but yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah but you know we had it we had our good our good uh phase five right phase five we're on phase five and we've had our moments you know good. guardians three was good yeah that was yeah that was good. that was really good what what else was phase five because that was the first phase five one no wasn't it, that the first? no it was it was ant-man ant-man was, Ant was okay it was mediocre it was it was okay it was mid it was it was just it was a solid four out of ten. I'd, I'll I'd, never I'd give it a watch six. it again. I'd give it a six because it, it's a setup movie. It's a setup movie. I wouldn't say it's like the sole purpose is just to set up who is this guy, what can he do, and what will happen. That's it. He he. Spoiler warning: He died to ants. That's not really setting up anything. That's not the point. I'm saying like this is still a character that has multiple like versions of himself. That's the whole setup. They they already set him up. In Loki, though. Mm, yeah, but not in the way we, not in the traditional Kang way. Like, setting up Kang is, he took over this entire, because, you know, like, he set up this entire realm. Like, he conquered this realm and made this his whole place. He is a tyrant. And died to ants. That's besides the point. I don't think it is, though. <laughs> but it is. I this think is it's a different I think version that's of like himself. like a key, like, kind of point. They needed a cop out because obviously they weren't going to be Kang, but I don't think that is the Kang. Well, it's not. So, so why didn't they just have Ant Man lose? Oh. I feel like at at the end of the movie, I just felt like nothing was gained or nothing was changed. It may be because for Loki season two, maybe. I mean, Loki didn't really set up Kang like that either. Like like Loki season two was like it didn't set him up but it showed him that's kind of a little point who who was showed it was, him it was Victor Timely and then there was the He Who Remains yeah I really do like that scene with He Who Remains when Loki was like Whew. yeah that, that was, was cool one. but it's like when are we actually gonna like see Kang like when is he gonna do something or like before Kang even Dynasty. exist the movie before Kang Dynasty I'm sure. It's, it's it's a time. It's a while. It's a while until we get that. It's a pretty long time. Yeah, but that's okay. We waited a long time for Thanos. Like, we just got, like, random stuff like Captain America, and it's like, how does Kang even relate to any of that at all? Who knows? I, I'm pretty sure they said for Captain America is, like, him recruiting the Avengers, the new Avengers. But anyways, but th that's besides the point. It's I would say that... We waited already, I don't know, like 12 years for Thanos. But it made sense, though. Because, like, mm -hmm. Thanos kind of secretly had, you know, like... Like the Chintari and all that? Yeah. Yeah. So, it's yeah. like, Kang is just kind of like... We don't even know where Kang is. We don't even know if he exists yet. Right, right. Yeah, who knows? I mean, hey, this this phase and whatever, it's, it's not looking hot. We know that already. It's just yeah. not looking hot. Yeah. But, you know, Deadpool 3 is going to be good. It's going to be fun. That's going to be such a fun yeah. movie. I'm really excited for that. You got any, any other, like, kind of, like, final thoughts about that? Uh, it's going to be good. I agree. It has to be. Oh, I agree. So, our third and final topic that we have to talk about, we have Sonic 3 released their teaser trailer in, 
a week or two ago. I want to say. And obviously, we know that Shadow was going to be in that movie, going to be the main antagonist, I would assume, mm-hmm. because they showed that in the post credit scene for the second one. What do you think? Are you excited? I just want to say, first, that the comeback of Sonic has been absolutely insane. Yeah, for real. Because you remember when the trailer first came out for the first one, and people were losing it, it was so over the, the, design. the Sonic design. <laughs> it was bad. He looked too human-like, bro. It was, it was really ugly. And they, Sonic Sonic One was good. Yeah, Sonic Two was good. Was better. And I mean, Sonic Three is should be even better. I mean, Jim Carrey is returning, even yeah. when he said he was done acting. So yeah, I'm really happy about cool. that. By the way, yeah, I like the first one. The first one was pretty fun. It was good. The second one though, I really liked the second one. It was very fun. Yeah, like I really enjoyed that one. Yeah, uh, seeing uh, Idris Elba as Knuckles, that was cool. I like yeah. Idris Elba. Um, and I think isn't the original Tails person Tails? I don't know. I'm pre- I, I she might be, but don't quote me on that. But I like I like the voice acting. It's yeah. very good. I'm really excited to see Shadow. People are speculating that Hayden Christensen is going to be playing Shadow. I've heard Keanu Reeves. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I can see Keanu playing Shadow. That would be yeah. cool. That would be really cool. And, but but, you but know, Anakin that'd be as cool Shadow, too. that would be cool. I think that would kind of fit. That would fit. Yeah. I, but but they both could fit pretty well, I would say. Yeah. The, I just wonder what direction they're going to take it in because in the second, second one, yeah, in the second one, we get Golden Sonic. Yeah. So I doubt we're getting that in the third one. Cause we'd probably get some like souped up version of yeah, Sonic 100%. towards the end, but yeah, yeah. But I don't know if it'll be golden. I'm probably. not sure. Is there like a level above golden? Yeah, yeah. I think. So. I don't. I don't know much about like Sonic's like stuff other than like the regular games and yeah. like the racing games. I know about the comics though, a little bit. Like Archie Sonic, I know he's like very very strong. But I doubt they would go Archie, like, because that's just un, that's undoable for yeah. movies. I just, what, like, what is even the deal with Sonic? Like, why is he, like, powering up to, like, Golden and stuff? I don't know. Like, where? It's his hedgehog powers. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure? Sure. I mean, yeah, you know, it's just it's Sonic the Hedgehog. You yeah, know? You it's a question. just the Golden Flying Hedgehog. Do you have a favorite show? I think the one I watched the most was Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom was fun. That was on Cartoon Network, right? Yeah. That was Sonic Boom was very fun. My the one I saw the most was Sonic Underground. Do you know that about that one? I you think know? I think I know what that is, yeah. Sonic Underground. But that's my song, bro. I love that song. Mm. They made a vow their mother would be proud. Bro, come on, bro. We gotta check that out. That show is so good. It's it's like he finds out he has a sister and a brother and like their mom was like taken away by Robotnik, I think, or whoever. And like they have these sweet powers where like it's like like kind of rock a little bit. So like his brother, he gets his powers from his guitar. Um, uh, I, uh, his sister, I think, gets her power from her drums. And I completely forgot what Sonic's was, but Sonic's was really cool. I actually think the green, the brother was my favorite. And were they... Were they born like with a guitar and drums? Yes, I I think or I think they they were like born into that stuff, something like that. And it's like, oh my god, that show was like my show. That was therapeutic. Oh my goodness, it's it's so cool, bro. So cool. You should check it out. I think you'll probably like that one a lot. It's kind of yeah. older. It's like earlier two thousands, but I watched that show so many times when it was on Netflix. Oh my God! Just thinking about it, bro. So you know, I have trouble watching shows. Yeah, this one, I'm pretty sure this one's like relatively short, if I remember correctly. It's like 20 episodes, two seasons, maybe four. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I might watch it. I don't know, but you know, I think it'll be. I think it'll be kind of cool. But do you have any uh, kind of final thoughts? You no. Know? I mean, Sonic should be good. Yeah. I mean, there's really no way to mess it up. No, not at all. I, it really isn't. But I, I say that for a lot of things, and they always find a way to mess it up. So, <laughs> no, I agree. They they definitely do always find a way to uh, do that. 
but you know, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It should be good. I think it should be good. They do the the director, producer, they do pretty good with the movies. So you know, I'm excited. Is that all I got? Yeah, that's all I got. All right. Well, thank you everybody for joining us on this 35 minute episode. Thank, thank you, because that's pretty. That's a good length for this 35 minute episode of Cultureverse. We hope to catch you in the next one. We'll catch you later, Nova. Caleb, say bye. Bye.